And guys, it's 8.20. I just woke up. I don't remember a lot of my dreams from last night, period. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I had, I remember this one. So, I just remember I was in a house. I think in my kitchen. And I look out and I see these clouds. These clouds that looked like people or beings, I should say. And and it looked like this guy was kneeling and there was another cloud that looked like another person I was standing. And then, and then the guy that was, or the, the cloud that was kneeling, the, the man, the cloud man, um, uh, he puts his his arm out like he's trying to offer something and he puts his head down and and so his arm is extreme is not extreme are you serious um completely stretched out towards this guy like he's giving him an offering of some kind and then jesus oh my god full color i mean not 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 a cloud like like straight up Yeshua, Jesus. <laughs> and he's just happy and, and, oh, I think he is happy. Cause I know what was happening, was gonna happen next. But I think it was a sign cause, um, so Jesus comes out and it's just this, just, just joy, comfort, energy I it's the best way I can explain it so but but I mean it was and then and then it he just he disappeared and I was like yes you are yes you are I was like yelling and stuff I was like so happy and and it goes away and 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 so in my mind since i didn't go in a rapture it wasn't like a, a rapture dream it was him showing me that he is coming back is what i think because afterwards the clouds kind of did this weird like they all gathered together kind of clouds like it like they all went and changed shape from from beings or, or or angels or humans or whatever was to be depicted from this guy holding out his hand to this other cloud and there's like so it was like this guy the guy that was kneeling right here and then a person uh a being i'm gonna just say being now um and then it was like four of them standing kind of like, like that, if that makes sense, in front of me. And, um, and then they just kind of like morphed together and it was just clouds. That was, that's after Jesus came, like, like Yeshua, like, you can't, whenever people say he comes from the clouds, he does come from the clouds. It's just, he's not a cloud himself. He's, you see him coming. Every eye will see the king. Every eye. And I think, I think it was his message telling me he's coming back soon. 
guys, I'm sorry. Guys, if, um, if you don't believe in Jesus or God, and there's, there's a difference between thinking and believing. Um, turn away from your current state of sin. And I know that's hard because I'm dealing with that every day. But I'm a strong believer that if you continually pray for forgiveness and repent and ask for him to, to guide you another way to where you do not sin, you know? Because in my mind, I think that's the only way is you can only, you can, I don't think you can, it is not possible to outrun sin. But it is possible to defeat it with Yeshua if every time before you're about to sin, you pray. You pray and you ask him not to let you do what you're thinking about doing. And I think that just goes back to the fact that think before you act or think before you say, you know. Um, anyways, I just wanted to come and tell you all that dream. So I was literally in my kitchen and saw these clouds and this, oh my gosh, guys, guys, he's coming back. <laughs> all right. And that's not, uh, th th you can't get any more plain than that. If the rapture didn't happen to my dream and, and it, Look for moving clouds constantly, transforming clouds, I guess, is what part of the dream was saying, even though in the dream it was like very, like, like you could, it was definite, like you could see every detail of the being stretching out its arms to this higher being, which I think was either an angel or something. Um, but, but my goodness, when Yeshua came, <laughs> and you know how many people at that point, if, what if he would, if he, I'm just contemplating and thinking, but what if, what about if he does come and he give us a war gives us a warning sign like that? Maybe a lot of other people would get saved. And what if he does it a few days before the rapture, or 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 like a week or two weeks before the rapture? to get to to actually show people before the trib that he's coming back i don't know i that's how i felt in my dream i was like oh my god oh my gosh <laughs> i i had no thought of sin anymore and i kind of feel that same way from waking up doing it um, I'm not going to lie. My sin is through imagery, if that makes any sense. Um, I've never been married. I haven't even really had a good relationship. So that's, that's where I have some difficulty. But now... That I had that dream, and it was so realistic. Um, I don't, I don't think I'll 
really have an issue doing that if I just pray before. Because afterwards, you know, after you sin, you just feel like crap. Even though you might feel good for that little tiny speck of time. But anyways, guys, repent for your sins. Know that Jesus is coming. Love him. Accept him. Let him into your heart. He will, he'll, he'll be there with you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, y'all have a blessed day. God bless y'all. Take it easy.